Diplomacy, Warfare, Stewardship, and Intelligence. Which one of these traits is the best for winning wars? Let's find out. Uh, but first we gotta kill this guy. Um, so in this video we have four different nations. We have the Diplomats, the Geniuses, the Stewards, and the Warriors. Um, so for the Diplomats we gave them all 100 Diplomacy. Um, and that has 100% birth rate so that will pass down to uh, pretty much all generations until the end of time. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be interested to see how that all works. I don't know if we've really played around with diplomacy very much. And then for the geniuses, we gave them all obviously 100 intelligence, um, which will also pass down. We also have the stewards with 100 stewardship, and we have the warriors with 100 uh, warfare. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and hit play, and um, we'll see what happens. So they're starting to develop a little bit. I think I'm just gonna start off start this off with going five times speed just to get them going a little bit quicker i haven't really played around with these traits very much um, i'm assuming stewardship means they're just going to manage their uh resources a lot better uh, which will be cool warriors will probably build the biggest army obviously and then diplomats um, we're just going to try and ally with everyone which i think they're the most interesting one um because they don't really have any ben benefits besides just what people they ally with um oh and look at them Go. They're already uh, starting to ally with someone. Who are they? Oh, they're trying to ally with the warriors. Okay, that is actually really smart. I think the diplomats could potentially win. It just depends on who they ally with and when. Yeah, they're definitely the most risky one, but who knows? Okay, it looks like everyone is expanding. Well, diplomats are actually in the lead as far as population goes. They have about 13. Um, geniuses have 10. Warriors have 12. Stewards have 12. Oh yeah, you can see the geniuses already have houses. I think that guy was just mining silver too. We should check to see the technology they're at now. Yeah, so Wuvo Pab, they're already up to a level 11, which is really crazy. So they have bows and swords. Um, no new materials, but the bows are definitely going to come in handy. And they also have house tier 3, um, so they might actually end up being the nation with the most population. No, are the stewards trying to make... Who are they trying to make peace with? Or uh, ally with? Um, joining alliance... Okay, bond of people. I think that that's got to be the alliance between the uh, diplomats and the warriors. Okay, yeah, you can definitely see the stewards kind of advantage here. Because um, they have the most population, and they're the first ones to build a new colony. Um, so yeah, I guess they're just managing the resources super well, um, which is cool that that actually does make such a big difference. And I think they have an army already. I don't know if it's an army. I think it's just their king picked up a stick. Oh, no, it is an army. Okay, Ipe is their first uh, soldier. So that is really cool. Yeah, stewards are doing really well. Um, geniuses, I would think, would have a lot more population than they do because um, they have like the least amount of population out of everyone. And I would think with how good their housing is, they would make more uh, babies, but uh, I guess not. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. What are the diplomats doing? Are they, uh, they're trying to get out of the alliance. That's really interesting. Okay, we just entered a new age. Um, yeah, we're in the age of tears. Yeah, okay, so diplomats just ended their alliance with warriors and stewards, and I think they're trying to get into an alliance with the geniuses here. Yeah, geniuses and diplomats are trying to get into alliance, <laughs> and their alliance is called Turtle Power. Oh, look at the geniuses' army, though. They got some pretty good weapons, or at least they have a lot of bows I'm seeing, which is good. I guess they're still using wood. See, so they're Wuvobab. Um, they do have silver. I guess they just haven't uh, mined very much. And yeah, they got some really good technology. They got army training two, um, hammers, swords, and it looks like they start at level two. Um, they get max level um their max level is increased and they just <laughs> they live longer too yeah these guys are super op uh they've actually overtaken the diplomats as far as um population goes and then warriors have really fell behind so they're down to um they only have 122 a tornado just spawned on them i don't think it killed too many people but that's funny it's like just as i'm talking about how bad they're doing they get a tornado okay it just went through it's yeah, so a diplomats and geniuses are going against the stewards. That's a good matchup. Um, stewards could actually pull this off. We'll see. Yeah, you got one of the geniuses' armies coming down. Okay, and they just took over that colony. Um, Ikudran. Oh, wow. Okay, the stewards have a 30 coming up. Look at that. That's a huge army. We'll see what they're down to. 25? Okay, I 
think the geniuses can probably pull this off. Um, they're kind of being really smart about what they're doing. It seems like they're kind of just sending a few guys down here to like distract them while these armies are just kind of range attacking them. Oh, and the geniuses are taking over this colony. Okay, so Ikudran, I guess that was already captured, uh, but they captured it again and uh, now it's just getting captured again by the uh, stewards. Oh, all right. Okay, warriors looks like one in, one in on this. Um, they're planning a war <laughs> against the stewards. I feel like this always happens. It's always like the nation that's doing the best. I feel like everyone gangs up on. Okay, Ava is getting captured by the geniuses, and we'll see if this war goes through. Okay, that one's getting recaptured. All right. Okay, warriors just declared war on stewards. Yeah, so they got some armies coming in. Um, yeah, I don't know about. I don't know how the stewards are gonna do. Okay, yeah, Ikudran just got recaptured. Um, Ava's getting captured. 80, 90, 100, and Oki Kayo is under attack by the warriors right now. Um, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Okay, so that just got captured. Um, stewards are down to 165. Um, Ava's getting captured. Oh, yeah, and it looks like everybody's coming down to the capital. What is this army doing? The stewards have some random seven up here, um, like going on the offense. They should not be on the offense right now. They should just be defending their cities. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, yeah, and I also do have angry villagers turned on, so they do have to kill um, some of the citizens to capture some of these colonies. Oh, Oh, okay. A pogo just fell. Okay, so it really is just this one colony um, for the stewards. Rip. Okay, 80, 90, and 100. Okay, so that war just ended. Yeah, unfortunately, the geniuses um, didn't really get, like, anything out of that. They didn't even get, like, one colony from the uh, the stewards. So, hopefully, they can catch up, catch up, though. Just built a new colony. And it looks like a few new colonies were built. Um, Diplomats just built a new colony. Warriors just built a new colony. Everyone's kind of trying to dissolve this alliance right now. So, we might get some wars after this happens. And, yep, that just went through. Um, De Turtle power is now dissolved. So, I'm curious to see who's going to fire the first bolt it here okay diplomats we're going back to going back to war see who against against the geniuses okay interesting i feel like they're pretty evenly matched um diplomats have the numbers but geniuses do have better technology i don't even know if diplomats have like bows or anything i think they're still using sticks so it should be pretty evenly matched all right, and there it goes, diplomats against geniuses. So a couple armies are meeting here on the border. The diplomats, again, it just makes so much sense, but they literally do not have like weapons for most of their soldiers. Uh, so yeah, they're just getting like absolutely pooped on out here. Okay, and another war just started. Oh no, it's happening again. Yeah, the warriors um, apparently just declared war on the uh, the diplomats as well. Yeah, diplomats are just going to get absolutely demolished. Yeah, diplomats uh, definitely made a poor choice by dissolving that alliance. Uh, because that was realistically their only, like, hope to win. Yes, yeah, so they're down to one colony here. And, yep, the armies just arrived. Okay, two population left. 20, 30, 40, 50. All right, yep. Okay, diplomats were just destroyed. I'm curious to see what the armies look like. Okay, so the armies are pretty even, and also the populations are pretty even. Um, So I'm really curious to see how this is going to go. Let's go ahead and fast forward this a little bit. All right, so geniuses versus warriors. We'll see how this goes. All right, Anansen is at 50%. Warriors, I don't think have arrived yet. And then Kuporo is getting captured by the warriors. Um, Atika is getting captured. Feels like they're just going to trade a lot of colonies uh, right off the bat. Um, Ava's getting captured. Okay, the geniuses have pulled ahead. They're up to 900 warriors down to 600 but it looks like the warriors are about to reclaim a few colonies um though the warriors do have quite a bit of army they just haven't really used them very much um they have three these three armies right here which seem to all be pretty op oh yeah this has just been like a ton of trading jesus keep like claiming colonies and then uh, warriors just take them right back um it is getting easier and easier though i think because these middle colonies are all just getting worn down um so they're just like super easy to take now i mean this one right here just has one population population and then this one over here just got destroyed oh okay that one just got destroyed too and i bet this one is gonna go as well um <laughs> i wonder if we can find the one guy i think it's this kid down here okay i think he's safe all right let's take a look at the armies i think the geniuses are definitely starting to pull ahead at this point um yeah okay geniuses have almost 300 army um warriors have like 80 so warriors have like 550 and geniuses almost double their population with 
uh, almost 1100. Oh yeah, okay, geniuses have a 60 coming down. Um, I wonder, do they have any better weapons yet? I think I'm seeing some steel in here. Um, they have a few steel weapons. Ivan the Pike, <laughs> this man na named his own Pike. Um, but I think what happened was this war just went on too long. I think the geniuses just became so advanced that uh, warriors can't really compete with their army. Let's see, I'm only seeing about like 40 army left for the warriors. Oh, look at them go. They're still trying to like reclaim colonies from the geniuses. Um, they did have an army. I, I was surprised that they could still take that over. Okay, they still have a 30 over here. Heading, heading into a Gokio. Um, Yoliko is about to get taken over. All right, three colonies left, two colonies left. Um, just Xiao and Yuanad. This is their last stand right here. <laughs> Those like three soldiers. And so it's just this one colony left. And there's just one guy, Du Shobi. All right, let's give him a star and let's just, let's watch him. Okay, he's actually, well, okay, never mind. I think he got, I think he killed someone though. All right, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and that's it. Okay, so is that the last colony? Yep, okay, so warriors were destroyed and um, geniuses officially win. I do feel like if the stewards had uh, not all been ganged up on, I feel like they probably would have won uh, with how good they were doing. It's just unfortunate because, uh, I don't know, everyone ganged up on them and they just got destroyed like super easy. Um, but maybe next time the, uh, the stewards will have a better chance. We'll just have to see.